Once a pump nozzle size selection has been made, the accelerator pump system can be further tailored with the pump cam. Holly offers an assortment of different pump cams, each with uniquely different lift and duration profiles that are available under Holly part number 20-12. Switching cams will directly affect the movement of the accelerator pump lever and subsequently the amount of fuel available at the pump nozzle. Installing a pump cam is pretty straightforward. It's as easy as loosening one screw, placing the new pump cam next to the throttle lever, and tightening it up. On each cam, there's two and sometimes three holes that are numbered with a one or a two, and sometimes a three. Placing the screw in a number one position activates the accelerator pump a little early, allowing full use of the pump's capacity. Generally, vehicles which normally run at lower idle speeds, say 600 or 700 RPM, find this position more useful because they can have a good pump shot available coming right off of this relatively low idle. Positions number two and number three delay the pump action, relatively speaking. These two cam positions are good for engines that idle around 1000 RPM and above. Repositioning the cam in this way makes allowance for the extra throttle movement required to maintain the relatively higher idle setting. Pump arm adjustment and clearance should be checked and verified each and every time the pump cam and or pump cam position is changed.